Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Casey and I like to talk about fitness and beauty and a few things in between. So if that sounds like your jam, hit that subscribe button and keep on watching. I have my Ipsy Glam Bake Plus to share with you today. It arrived to my doorstep this morning. I have opened it just to take a little peek and let me tell you there is a boatload of stuff in there. So we are going to investigate what the contents are. I do believe that this month I received a, a free month of Ipsy's new subscription called Refreshments. I think and I hope those products are in here. However, moving forward, I did unsubscribe from that, mostly because I feel like the types of products that will be included in the refreshments are products that I'm already getting in my Glam Bake and Glam Bake Plus. So I, I will be curious to see how this subscription goes over, if people will be into it or not, because I just feel like if you are already subscribed to the Ipsy, that you are already getting a lot of those products, so I just don't see the necessity. But anyway, those products should be in here. So let's open it up and see what's in here. Ooh, ooh, discover, ooh. This is the December bag. I recall this is the, the Sherpa that I wasn't a huge fan of. However, this one's not too bad. This one kind of reminds me of Santa's Santa bag. It's it's red, burgundy, soft. This, this one's not so bad. I wasn't a fan of the Ipsy Glam Bag bag. That one, no. And then there's another bag in here. This must be the refreshments bag. And this bag, let me tell you, is nice. It's silk. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty. So let's do the refreshments bag first, because I'm very curious. And these drawstrings, man, that is nice. That is actually, this is actually an, a nice bag. I wonder if we get a bag like this every month. I guess I would assume. Anyway, let's dive in here. So, wow, a hefty bag of makeup wipes. Unfortunately, I don't use makeup wipes. Perhaps I will keep them by my makeup so that I can clean off swatches because I always obsessively start swatching my eyeshadows before I start doing my makeup. I just don't really use them that much. So again, another reason why I canceled the refreshments just because I, And then a decent size bottle of hand cream. It says it is citrus spritz scented. It is creamy. You know how you can definitely tell the difference between a hand cream and a hand, and a hand lotion. This is definitely more of a hand cream type product, which is great because that's what it says it was. The scent is very lemony actually kind of strong lemon. Like it smells like straight up lemon essential oil, which I don't mind that I, it's a fine smell for me. It's just not a pretty smell. It's a very harsh lemon in my opinion. I will definitely use a hand cream a lot more than I will use the face wipes. And then let's see, we've got a little paper here and there's a bunch of stickers here. So that's kind of cool. A lot of information on here. I honestly, I'm, I'm not completely sure how the subscription service works, so I do apologize. I'll be curious to see how it goes for other people to watch reviews on it. We'll see. Moving along, th there is a paper in my December bag. Does it say the stuff? Does it say the stuff? No. No, it doesn't say the stuff. For whatever reason, it, the Ipsy bag includes the paper with all the information, but the Ipsy Glam bag does not. Or the Ipsy Glam bag plus does not. I don't... I don't know why. I don't know why. Why? Why? So I have my own notes here, because I'm a smart girl. Firstly, we have the IBY Fireside Eyeshadow Palette. This is $15. I feel like I heard that this was an Ipsy exclusive. This is what we have going on here for the color story. It is very beautiful, very um, very neutral. I literally just filmed a video of talking about my makeup and beauty predictions for 2021. In that video, I said that green is gonna be the new pop of blue. And would you look at that? Look at that. Look at it. Oh, Got look it. at this. Say, would you look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Anyway, I want to resist my desire to put my fingers all over this and swatch it because I don't think this is something that I'm going to use. I want to be able to offer someone a brand spanking new untouched eyeshadow palette, so I'm not going to swatch it. I'm going to put it back in the box and just hang on to it until I, I don't know, have someone to give it to. Next, I have the Wonder Beauty Skyliner Automatic Gel Eyeliner in the shade Jet Black. The regular price is $21 and it says everything proof. It won't smudge, it won't smear, it won't run, and it's also a gel formula that won't pull, tug, or skip. So I have never tried a an eyeliner product from Wonder Beauty. I've tried other products from Wonder Beauty. One of my favorite products, their Glotion, is my 
ride or die complexion product, but I've never tried their eyeliner, so I have no doubt that this is good because I honestly don't think I've ever been let down by a Wonder Beauty product, so I, oh yeah, that is creamy. That is creamy. Well, Would you look at that? Yeah, there's oh, I forgot to, I forgot to say, the Fireside Palette and the eyeliner are the two products that Ipsy picked for me. So my remaining products are ones that I chose for myself out of the selection of products that they offered me. So next up, I chose the 111 Skin 3 Phase Anti Blemish Booster Serum. 111 Skin is a skincare line. A lot of the products are well over $100. This one specifically is $135. I was a big fan of their Vitamin C Serum. I, I feel like I tried something else from them that I wasn't super crazy about. It kind of seems like some of their products are a little bit trendy, markety, like... So anyway, this one is the Three Phase Anti-Blemish Booster. I do wish, and I'm sure I could pull up their website and look myself, but again, why I would love to have a stinking paper included in this, I really would like to know what the ingredients are in this. What makes it a Three Phase Anti-Blemish Booster? Is this an exfoliant? Is it, like, I just, I want to know. So online it says, stop breakouts before they start with this preventative anti-blemish booster serum. It helps to regulate sebum, refine pores, and reduce acne causing bacteria. It also has anti-inflammatory benefits to soothe redness and irritation. Let's do a little patch test now so I can know if it's safe to try later. Ooh, it is very, it's very goopy. Very goopy. So I'm going to put just a dot here, in the inner part of my arm here. It just smells clean. There's not really like a specific scent or anything. And then I also usually put just a little bit on the underside of my chin here, just for patch testing. So I will leave this here. Upon application, it's very gooey. It's very gooey. Um, however, it's not sticky. It does feel kind of nice, actually. Like, it seems like a lot of like acne and anti-blemish type products, they don't feel great going on, especially compared to like a hyaluronic acid or more, more like nourishing type serum. But this feels kind of nice. It feels nice. So. We'll see how that goes. Next is another skincare product. This is the QMS Ace Vitamin Day and Night Cream. The regular price is $140. It's kind of asking for a lot. Anyway, this totally is giving me the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Balm vibes with the packaging and the colors and everything. It says this is a two-in-one face cream for both day and night to restore and regenerate all skin types. It contains vitamin C and E to protect the skin from UV-induced free radical damage while also brightening your overall complexion. It has like a yellowish hue to it, like it reminds me when you make Rice Krispie bars or something and you're melting the butter and the butter it's like just to the point right before it starts to liquefy like that's totally the vibe that I'm getting right now and it kind of also feels like that. Very super creamy, very luscious. It smells like, it smells clean and I don't know if I'm just thinking marshmallow because that's what I think of when I look at that product consistency but I feel like if marshmallows didn't have sugar this is what they would smell like. It's alright, it's not bad. I can't believe this is $140 though. Like this must do some majestic things to my skin. We'll see. Next up, this is the last product that I chose. This is the Smith & Colt Nail Lacquer in Better Cashmere Daydream. This is $18. This is a bougie ash nail polish. And I don't know that I've ever tried a Smith & Colt nail polish to be honest. This packaging is, that's heavy. That is heavy. I actually almost kind of hate that because when I'm painting my nails, you know, you're, you're trying to hold the bottle and this is just kind of feels awkward and heavy in my hands. So I'm not a, honestly a huge fan of the packaging. What'd you do? What the heck? Anyway, the color's pretty though. It's like a, a milky teal. Cool, it's different. I don't think I have a shade like this in my large nail polish collection. Not crazy about the heavy, possibly broken packaging though. And guys, that, that's it. That is everything that I got in my Ipsy Glam Big Plus. What, what do I mean, that's it? I got a lot of I got a lot of stuff. And I quickly added up the total of just the five products within my Ipsy Glam Big Plus, and it came to a total of $329. So all that for $25. I think that's pretty cool.
Let me know down below, what did you think of the products that I got? What was your favorite? What was your least favorite? Do you subscribe to Ipsy? Let me know what you've got in your bag this month. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. I hope that you hit that subscribe button and come back next time. I do plan to continue filming my Ipsy unboxings for you because I, I talk about Ipsy a lot, especially in my, my makeup videos and my makeup ranking videos. Ipsy is such a huge part of my makeup life. They introduced me to tons of products and tons of new brands that I wouldn't normally be able to experience or afford otherwise. And so I do want to just share my love for Ipsy with you by sharing my, my boxes each month. And so moving forward, I do plan to film my monthly unboxings as long as they arrive in a timely manner. So if you are into that, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.